Diving is such an amazing experience, letting you see some of the most unique animals on the planet. However, it can lead to risky situations. Hi, I'm Ryan Heron, and I designed an augmented reality dive mask that helps mitigate these risks while having the potential to go beyond what we can imagine possible, like seeing through murky water or identifying marine life. I started my project researching users. Through a survey, I found users tend to either be free divers or scuba divers. Also, they undergo higher risks in bad visibility, and they heavily rely on their depth and time underwater. I conducted user interviews, finding that scuba divers are mostly concerned with decompression sickness, which is bubbles in the blood from rapid decrease in pressure. And free divers are concerned about shallow water blackouts. This one's pretty simple. It's lack of oxygen to the brain. I asked about the dangers of low visibility and found users can get disoriented easily, leading to more serious issues like diving deeper than expected or losing sight of their dive buddy. To summarize the pain points of our users, scuba divers are affected by decompression sickness, not knowing where their safety stop is, navigation underwater, and of course, running out of air. Now, safety stop is 15 feet below the surface for three minutes after your dive to help with decompression sickness. The pain points of free divers are shallow water blackouts, not knowing where the surface is, and ascending way too fast. Though our users have unique pain points, both decompression sickness and blackouts are affected by their depth, time underwater, and speed of ascent. So knowing these three will be crucial to decreasing the risks of diving. As a free diver, you need to know the amount of time that you're resting between dives. And as a scuba diver, you need to know where that safety stop is and how long to stop. These unique needs will prove to be a challenge while creating a mask for both users. I created two use cases for the AR dive mask. The first is for a scientific diver who has their hands full and they need to track the time of their dive and when to come to the surface to take that safety stop where to stop and how long. The second is for a free diver who needs to know how long they're diving and at what depth so that they don't overexert themselves. And while coming back to the surface, they need to control their ascent rate and then also have ample rest time between dives. I started my wireframing process by writing down all of my research findings and then starting to sketch out what I think should be the layout for the screen. I then moved to Figma, going from low to high fidelity wireframes and I learned how difficult it was to keep this design as minimal as possible so that I didn't obstruct the view of the user. I provided opaque backgrounds for each of the units so that they can be seen in any type of scenario while still giving the user the ability to see what's going on. Let's jump into the final frames. I wanted to emulate what each user would see as a scientific diver and free diver throughout the duration of their dive. All right, of course we start at zero feet start moving down, and then we reach the bottom, we slow down, and we hang out there, checking out the marine life around. But then we gotta head up, so at 15 feet we wanna stop, and once the diver stops at 15 feet below 0.5 feet per second ascent rate, the stop timer will start, and then once it's finished, it'll go back to the dive time. All right, now we have the free diver still starting at zero. And then moving down, same thing. But this time, the dive is a lot faster. And you're going to start heading back up, and you want to really control that ascent rate. Now, once you get to the surface, your rest timer will start, and you'll be able to track how long you are spending resting. The capabilities of an AR dive mask can lead to some really cool inventions such as marine life identification or low visibility assistance, creating a way safer experience while diving. The feasibility of these features actually being developed could be closer than we think, as Microsoft is developing AR capabilities of seeing through smoke, fog, and dust, and Google has already created a way to identify plants and animals through AI. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to connect with me either through email or LinkedIn.